Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are going to take a look at this Bluetooth USB 4.0 dongle and this also supports uh, file transfer and it, you can also connect your wireless audio devices using this dongle. Uh, this supports Windows 7, Windows 10 and any other Windows. Uh, I did try this with Windows 7 but the driver did not work so I had to install uh, drivers for Windows 7. So if you want to install this uh, dongle you will need to install uh, drivers for Windows 7 but if you have Windows 10 you can get by without installing the driver. So let's just quickly take a look at what we get in the box. So in the box, in the packet, you will get the uh, manual, this packet. At the back some information is given. The website rockettech.hk is the manual. Let's keep it aside and here is the very small uh, dongle that I'm talking about. So let's take it out. Okay, so here is the dongle. As you can see, the dongle is very small. The build quality is decent. As you can see on top, you have the rocket tech written here, and there is your small LED which glows blue when the dongle is connected. Uh, so, if you have Windows 10, uh, it will work flawlessly, but if you have Windows 7, you will have to install the driver. Unfortunately, it did not come with any uh, CD, uh, driver CD. Uh, fortunately, nobody uses a CD in 2019. At least a lot of the people don't use CDs. So what I did was I basically downloaded the CSR Harmony driver. You have to download the CSR Harmony di driver. Do not download the driver from the uh, Rocket Tech website because they did not work uh, for me. So I had to download, download the default uh, CSR Harmony driver from the internet. So let me just plug it in and show you how it so here is the listing of the dongle that I'm talking about as you can see the picture Bluetooth version 4.0 and the norm, name is Rocket Tech CSR 4.0. Uh, this is the expensive version as you can see the price currently is about 500 plus shipping so almost like 600 rupees you will have to spend on this however there is another version available which is the cheaper version which is this one uh, the price of this one goes to as you can see this is the generic CSR 4.0 version and this this dongle is same as this one so you no need to buy the expensive version uh, the reason I bought this is because I didn't know the difference between the two I basically bought this one to check whether there is any difference or not but there is no difference between this one and the cheaper version maybe just the outer casing other than that I couldn't find any other difference uh, so there we go so at the moment as you can see the cheaper version is about uh, 339 rupees but oftentimes it is often sold at cheaper price like 200 rupees including shipping so there we go so let me just connect the uh, dongle and show you how it let's just connect it in it's connected so i've installed the uh, dongle so let me just go ahead and download the driver so all you have to do is just type in the csr harmony 4.0 and a page should open up go to the uh, csr harmony page as you can see this one uh, CSR Harmony software 4.0 download click on it and once you will click on it you will get two options one version is 2.1.63 and that's exactly what we need to download and as you can see this is about 407 MB so I've already downloaded the driver so let me just install it so this is the downloaded file in this file you will find a couple of options uh, what we need to do is be, we need to open the setup file just click on it and it will just open up let's fair, wait for it a little bit click on yes and the software opens up click ok and now it is installing the driver click on the next button click I accept next next change the mode change the discovery off to discovery on keep the SCMS to disabled and change the device type from desktop from laptop to desktop then click on the next and then click on install so it will take a couple of uh, minutes and let it install and before installing the driver let me show you one thing that before installing the driver if you click on the taskbar you will get this icon and if you right click on this option 
this is the options that you will get before installing the driver once the uh, drivers are installed these options will change and that's what uh, is going to make a difference in our uh, software so let's just complete the install as you can see installation is finished let's click on uh, finish so drivers have successfully installed and as you can see that the uh, logo on on the uh, taskbar has changed so if i click on it uh, you will get this different options as you can see the options are changed and i can do a lot of uh, things with this option i can connect my audio devices my bluetooth uh, wireless earphones i can also connect bluetooth uh, keyboards mouse i can also transfer files between my mobile phone or any other bluetooth devices so let me just uh, show you how to connect your bluetooth uh, wireless earphone okay so now that our dongle is connected let me show you how you can transfer a file from your uh, computer to your mobile phone so i've got my samsung z1 here let me zoom back a little bit so we can see so I've got my Samsung Z1 here so let me just turn on the Bluetooth go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth on your device as you can see the Bluetooth is now turning on Bluetooth turned on go ahead and select the file that you want to send you from your computer to your mobile phone right click on it go to send to and then select the Bluetooth uh, devices once you've done that you will get this option let me zoom it in as you can see my de device is showing up if your device doesn't show up you will need to click the search option as you can see there so after your device has been selected click on next and your phone should get an option which says accept click on accept I've clicked on accept as you can see the file is now being transferred to my phone and if I go to the uh, option in my phone you can see that the file is being transferred if the camera decide to focus and as you can see the file transfer is fairly speedy as you can see the file is completely transferred so let me just open the file on my phone click on it so the file was transferred and the uh, size of the file is about let me just show you go to properties and as you can see the file size was about uh, 7.92 MB so about 8 MB of files was transferred within about 30-40 uh, seconds so that decent speed not very high uh, not very high speed now let me just show you how you can connect your audio devices using this bluetooth dongle okay now let me show you how you can connect your bluetooth uh, wireless earphones or bluetooth speakers with this bluetooth dongle so i've got my anchor uh, spirit x so let me just turn it on press the middle button of your wireless bluetooth earphone until it turns on as you can see the blue eye light is glowing and it is flashing that means it is in pairing mode so now go ahead as you can see it has detected my earphone so go ahead and click on it let me it is again showing this option click on it your device is ready to use click close now that the drivers of our uh, device is installed we can connect our device using it to do that go to my computer let me just open my computer and in my computer settings you will see uh, these options you will get this bluetooth option go ahead and click on it and as you can see here you can see the bluetooth option and at the moment our bluetooth device is not connected as you can see the bluetooth LEDs is still flashing now right click on it and click open services so let me just show you what I'm doing right click on your wireless earphone and click open services click open services and once you click on open services you will get this couple of options. and at the leftmost part you will get this option with A2DP sync 
A to DP sync right click on it and click connect and as you can see the Bluetooth is not connected and once I click connect the connection is happening and look at the blue LED on my wireless earphone it is stable that means I have connected and the symbol on the Bluetooth device in my computer is also blue click OK and at the bottom you can also see that it is says the device is connected now still you will not be able to hear the audio because the default audio device in your computer is not set to, def to set the default audio device click on the speaker right click on the speaker go to sounds after click on the sounds go to the playback option and as you can see here you will get this uh, Bluetooth audio renderer you will have to set this device as a default device so once select the Bluetooth audio renderer and then click on set as default after doing that if you play anything inside your computer you will be able to hear uh, it through the wireless earphone so let me just play the same file that I just played on my phone and let me bring the speaker of my wireless earphone closer hopefully you will be able to hear so I've just brought uh, the the speakers closer to the uh, camera I'm not sure if you are able to hear or not but uh, I can hear the volume coming out of the earphone and the earphones are definitely uh, working so there we go this is how you can connect a wireless earphone uh, to your uh, computer so there we go this was my video on the uh, rocket tech 4.0 CSR 4.0 Bluetooth dongle and as you can see after finishing the video you can see the price has again increased to 700 rupees but keep checking on and the price will decrease uh, soon or later also the other cheaper option is also very good which is similar to this one the only difference is that it I think it has an LED and the cheaper option doesn't come with an LED however the features and the file transfer speed I think are probably the same one thing I want to mention about this Bluetooth dongle is that uh, when watching a video you will notice a little bit of audio delay when watching a video or watching movies so this is not a uh, good uh, for when you want to watch videos or movies However, if you just want to listen to audio, then you can definitely consider this Bluetooth dongle, which also supports audio and file transfer. So there we go. This was my video on the Rocket Tech Bluetooth CSR 4.0 dongle. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.